Okay, so the bookstore that I visit here in Singapore is called Kino Kunya, and it's actually this Japanese chain bookstore. Um, they have stores in multiple cities all around the world, but it's actually a Japanese bookstore. And the first thing that I do whenever I enter this bookstore is first check out the mystery and thriller section. It's honestly like mystery and thriller books are. It's my. It's one of my favorite genres. So I do spend quite a bit of time over here. especially browsing through the Agatha Christie books because the hard cover versions of these books at this bookstore are just beautiful. The next section that I visit is fantasy because if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I adore fantasy books. Honestly, any book to do with witches or magic or anything like that are totally up my alley and I cannot resist them. One of the cool things about this bookstore is that I can actually find quite a few Indian books here which I always find so amazing and I feel so proud when I see Indian books abroad. The other thing that I love doing at this bookstore is just admiring a whole bunch of like really expensive books that I will never buy. <laughs> the ones that I like to look at are these like really cool hard bound versions of classic books. So there's like Jane Austen as well as Great Gatsby. Like just look at how beautiful these books are. Just look at them. They're super expensive and I'll never buy them, but I always like to look at them. <laughs> And the last place that I like to visit before exiting the bookstore is its enormous manga section. The manga section in this bookstore is huge. It's like shelf after shelf after shelf of amazing manga books. Manga is a genre that I've been wanting to get into, but I always feel a little bit intimidated and I don't really know where to start. So I usually spend quite a bit of time just rummaging through all the books here, but I never end up buying anything. But this bookstore honestly has such an amazing collection of not just manga but like graphic novels and so many other books that visiting this place makes me so happy. Honestly, any bookstore is my happy place and I love just getting lost in all the books and stories that I can find here. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm back from the bookstore and I've changed into something a lot more comfortable. I have my hot cup of tea with me. So I thought I'd just like sit over here, chill, relax and show you guys what I bought at the bookstore. Um basically what I had gone to the bookstore to do was buy one book. Just one book. And that was the volume 1 of Death Note. uh the manga series now i've been really wanting to get into manga and anime and things like that and i think it was either one of you or one of my friends who told me that death note is really good and since it's like a very short manga series it's a good place to start so i went to the bookstore with the sole intention of buying volume 1 of death note and get this the bookstore had all the other volumes like all the other volumes of death note that's from 2 to 13 they had all of them but they didn't have volume 1 and it was so frustrating the one thing that i wanted at the bookstore they didn't have but i put my name down on the waiting list and if they ever do get like the stock of volume 1 then they will call me and hopefully i'll be able to get it but i did end up buying a few other things because like obviously i'm at the bookstore i'm not going to come back empty handed so i'll show you guys the couple of things that i bought and i thought i would open up my book mail because uh, this is heavy i have a bunch of like book mail that i haven't opened up these came like a couple of days ago but i haven't opened them up because i wanted to open them up for you guys because i'm sure 
especially this one i'm sure you guys will be excited to see what's in here so first uh, let me show you what I got at the bookstore and then we'll open these up so it'll be like a mini haul for you guys. The first thing that I got at the bookstore was this book which is called Disney's Land and it's by Richard Snow. This book is basically the story of how Walt Disney conceptualized and built Disneyland. I know that a lot of people say that Disneyland is actually like very lame for adults because the like the the rides are not very thrilling and it's only meant for kids but like honestly the way Walt Disney has like built that park and conceptualized the rides and the way he's like literally brought his stories to life and the, the, the like the different techniques and his imagination in bringing those stories to life is just so fascinating to me and because of that Disneyland is honestly one of my all-time favorite theme parks and I'm really interested to know more about it and find out how it was built so that's why I'm very very excited to read this book and the next things that I bought were actually these books of movie posters so basically it's just a collection of postcards and each one has like different each each one has like different postcards in it I'll show you the postcards individually but like I just thought they were really cool and nerdy. I find them super duper interesting and I feel like I can kind of like take out the postcards and I'll be able to maybe like put them together in a picture frame and then hang them on my wall or something because I just thought that they were really cool and the artwork is amazing. So yeah, that's why I bought them and I thought they were really cool. Okay. Up next here is the first package that I got from Amazon. Oh. Okay, this is the Night Theater by Vikram Paralkar. Um I, I forgot that I had ordered this like seriously. Oh my god. And I forgot that it was the hardcover. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, uh, right, so this book, I actually discovered it on Goodreads. I don't even remember how I discovered it, but it was basically, it's kind of like this um, like fantasy contemporary book. And it's about this doctor who works in like a rural village in India. And uh, one night, like a family comes to him and tells them to treat him, but that family is actually dead. Like, I think they're like ghosts or something that come to him and they tell them, like, he, they tell him to treat them. And it's something like that, I don't know, but just like the premise seemed very, like, interesting and like, oh my god, look at this cover. This cover is so beautiful and it's got like a pretty good rating on Goodreads. So I was very, very intrigued by this book and I got it and I completely forgot that I had ordered this and yeah oh my god it's so pretty okay the next one is this I know what this is at least I think I know what this is how do I open this and show you guys okay wait um I think that this is the chain of gold and chain of iron series but that I ordered oh god this is bad. Okay. That was dangerous. Don't open boxes like that. Ugh. Oh, wow. I think this came from the US. And it's like... Yes! Yes! It is chain of gold and chain of iron. Okay, it's a little bit dusty. I don't know why. But yes, it is Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. Um, these are the first two books, I think, in the Last Hour series. Um, this series is set in the Shadowhunter universe. And I think it is like after what happens in the Infernal Devices trilogy. And the Infernal, Devi blah, blah, blah. The Infernal Devices trilogy is like one of my favorite series now i love that series so much and i love the characters and this series is kind of like a continuation and it features characters from the infernal devices trilogy so i'm so excited to read this these books are absolutely gorgeous like look at them oh my god they are so pretty i actually don't even know what this is about but like oh my 
my god i don't know who these characters are but this art is so pretty this looks really really pretty i've never had a book which actually has like the character art at the beginning like there's usually always a map but never a like a character art work thing okay there's no map in this one but it's so pretty and then chain of iron is book two this i think released thick this year and does this also have something inside let me see no it doesn't oh but this is cool the dedication is for rick riordan which i think is really cool one author to another but yes i'm so excited to read these two because like i said i love the shadow hunter universe and i loved infernal devices so yay and the last one which i am also very excited about i think i know what this is also at least i hope it is that but i am so excited for it and i think you guys will also love it because it's a book series that you guys have been wanting me to read since forever like since i started this channel probably <gasps> yes it is the percy jackson box set yes i finally did it i bought all the percy jackson books and i'm finally going to read them because i know that a lot of you have been asking me and i know that you guys have wanted my review about it so you're not only going to get a review but you're also going to get a reading vlog so stay tuned because i'm finally reading the percy jackson series and i am so so excited okay. oh this is cool the spines of all of these actually form i'm guessing this is the new york skyline so that's really cool like they form the new york skyline which is pretty cool okay so this is book 1 which is the lightning thief this is nice um second one is sea of monsters is that cyclops i see cyclops on here next one is the titan's curse next one is the battle of the labyrinth and the last one is the last olympian nice i'm really excited to read these books i'm really really excited and i think this is the poster oh oh so it's like the covers of all the books kind of like in what is this called panorama <laughs> a panorama of all the posters so yes i am really excited to read these books and like i said you're going to get a reading vlog i'm definitely i'm definitely going to vlog my entire experience reading this and then i'll also do a series review i think so stay tuned for that and Yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked uh my whole book store experience as well as opening up these amazing books which I have been waiting for for so long. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and also share this video with all your friends. Any friend that you know who loves reading books, share this video with them because that really helps support my channel. And of course if you like videos like these about books and just like geeky nerdy things then do subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I'll see you guys in my next one bye